Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this review, we are looking at NECA's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles cartoon series, Dirk Savage and Mona Lisa. Since I just reviewed Hasbro's horrible offering of uh, Galactus's Heralds from last year, I thought it would only be fitting for me to review a comparable two-pack. I'm actually going to review two of them today and tomorrow uh, from NECA for less money, but not tied to a billion dollar company having a Kickstarter and trying to get people to buy characters related to that. So I want to just, it'll be interesting to see the comparison between the two franchises. Okay, so there's definitely some good stuff going on here, and then there is some stuff that isn't so good. It's usually the case with action figures, but we're going to talk about all of it. So let's go ahead and get them off the stand and take a closer look. Alrighty, before we get into the figures, let's take a look at my package. If we can focus, there we go. All right, package is now focused. Standard window type packaging. I like the way NECA does it. It's a nice two pack look. You get the artwork for the both characters, the franchise, the names, the window. It's a, it's a basic but perfectly efficient, good looking package. If you wanted to display them like this, you absolutely could. It's a nice thing to have a window. The side shows this figure on this side and this figure on this side. No weird totem poles of characters. And then on the back you get some basic posing and then some alternate um, things you could buy. And this is the one I will be reviewing tomorrow, in fact. So if you wanna see that, stick around. I'll review this at some point. I think I have it over there. Yeah, I do. So I'll be reviewing that and I already reviewed that. Okay, so there you go. Nice packaging. That can never really disappoints on the package front. All right, so do keep in mind this two pack, 60 bucks. Everything in this two pack is brand new sculpt. Okay, brand new sculpt, loaded with accessories covered in paint. Hasbro's two pack was $63, if I remember correctly. One of the figures was a complete repaint. The other one was a blank body, which is essentially the same thing as a repaint with a new head. So just keep all of that in mind. This guy stands just about six and let's say five eighths inches tall, not counting his hair flip. That's gonna make him just shy of 17 centimeters. And this one stands uh, roughly to where her head would be. We'll call it 13 and a half centimeters, roughly. That's not quite right, but it's close enough. And it's gonna be about five and three eighths inches. Here they are up against Darwin. So he's a little bit bigger, a little bit thicker. She's a little bit smaller. You get the idea. All right, so we're just gonna do the aesthetic all at once. It is, uh, oops, NECA's usual uh, two-tone cartoon color scheme. It looks good. Uh, it's a little more basic for her than I might like, but it's not bad. Like they did do the two-tone all the way through. So you have the two different greens. The tail is a darker green and that's intentional. It has the black line work on it and then the light green too. She has a little bit less line work. So she stands out a little bit less, but still what's there is clean and looks good. The line work on her torso is not perfect, but it's pretty clean. It's what you would expect from NECA. It looks very nice. The paint work on the eyes, like the little eyelash thingies, looks good. Hair is done well enough. It's fine. She's a very basic figure, but it is accurate to the source material. That is also an important factor. And then same thing with this guy. This guy's paint is a lot more involved, so it's a little bit more interesting to look at, but we have the two-tone for the blue, the dark gray, the light gray the red, basically everything except for the harness, the gauntlets, and the skin tone. But he's got a lot of nice little details on there, way better than um, similar offerings at a higher price point. All right, now the only thing I think this guy is missing would be some paintwork on his chest and abdomen to outline the muscles like they have in other places. I think that would look really nice, but there is a ton of paintwork everywhere else, so it's easier to be forgiving of a figure when it's missing one tiny little detail rather than doesn't even have a tiny little detail. So yeah, he looks darn good and is very accurate to the source material. Again, all new sculpts, lots of paintwork on these guys. Aesthetically speaking, nine out of 10. There's not a whole lot NECA could do to make these look better in the cartoon styling. They look wonderful. Now, as far as accessories go, cause mind you, we got one accessory. Um, I think we also got some hands, so a couple of reused accessories in that two pack from uh, Hasbro. Now let's look at what we have here. First, we have an alternate head for Mona Lisa. That's very nicely done. She has a wide assortment of hands. Uh, that's good. Dirk also has uh, at least a few hands, not a wide assortment, but he has six total hands. So that's pretty cool. We do get the holster that goes on his back that can hold his rifle sort of thing. Now my rifle, I don't know if you saw in the beginning, it did come unglued, nothing broke, so it's easy enough to put back together, but that is unfortunate. And he also has like the stun stick, very nicely done. Both of those have good paint. He also has a pistol 
At least I assume that's his and not hers. I don't know for sure, but I think so. He also has whatever this thing is. Assuming it's his, it could be hers. I don't know. I think it's probably hers and some kind of sciencey gadget, but that actually is two pieces that comes apart. That's kind of cool. You also get the uh, handcuff thingies. That's kind of nice. You get two different books. All right, we have the books. They don't open, but we have those. And now remember the Marvel Legends Beast figure that came with the most horrible accessories. We get some similar accessories, but largely better. We do get the, uh, I can never remember the name of this particular type of flask. Whatever, you get the different beakers. I know they're not beakers. Glassware. This one has the tube coming out of it that's all curly. That's cool. This one has a cork in the top. It's not an actual cork, but it has it. And it is a separate piece from the stand. Both are very nice looking accessories. And if that wasn't enough, you get a rack of three test tubes. They all remove, can be removed from the rack. Like these are way better sciencey accessories than the ones that Beast got, even though he was a repaint. It's just amazing how much better NECA does. Accessory wise, um, 10 out of 10. I don't know what else you could ask for for this. Uh, tons of accessories. More accessories than I would have ever expected would come in this pack because I didn't pay attention to what it came with. Very, very nicely done. Okay, now as far as articulation goes, this is where NECA tends to be limited, usually due to the sculpt and accuracy, but let's see how it goes. Uh, this guy's head is on a ball peg. It looks like his neck is also. So other than where his crazy cartoonish chin is, you actually get all the range you could want. Like his head definitely gets in the way because he has this giant shelf of a chin and harnesses and shoulder pads and whatnot. But his head and neck actually work really nicely. That's good. Shoulder pads do not flex as much as I would like, like at all. They'll get out of the way some, but not that much. Shoulder is a ball hinge. Comfortably, I can get about that far. You might be able to heat it up and get a little bit more. So not quite to horizontal. As far as rotation goes, you do get your full rotation. The shoulder pad will flex enough for him to bring his arm forward. I wouldn't push it too much more than that. You do get your bicep swivel, double jointed elbow. So far, no problems with the joints. That's better than 90 on just the one joint. Let's see if we can get the top one moving. Yeah, so these guys did come out a while ago, so they are probably extra stiff. I haven't messed with them at all other than to take them out of the package, so we'll see how the joints fare. But good range out of the elbow, no problem at all. Nice looking elbow joint. And then the wrists have a swivel and a hinge. Do any of his hands have a vertical hinge? They don't. That is a problem. I hate it that NECA doesn't always include those, even though they do sometimes. Okay, now for the diaphragm joint, let's see. He can lean back fairly far. This does come off if you want it to, by the way. Uh, I just have it on there still. So he does lean back a little bit, not a ton. And then leaning forward a little bit, not a ton. Side to side is decent. Rotation, you're mostly gonna get that out of the lower waist and that is just a, a rotation hidden by the belt. It doesn't have a ball peg in there. So not the most range, probably enough though. For the hips, we have our standard ball joints. They go out that far because these pouches bump into his crotch, but that's better than 45. Should be okay. They are too loose, definitely too loose. Going forward, very limited. They definitely opted for the better look of the diaper. Kills the articulation though, not my preference at all but at least it looks good from the front. Like that's definitely a choice they made. NECA always leans into the aesthetic. I personally would prefer a little bit more range out of it, but that's the way it goes. You do get a thigh swivel, though it seems to, nope, it works. You just have to use a little bit of strength. All right, thigh swivel works. Double jointed knees. I'm surprised these guys aren't stuck more than they are. Like they're a little bit stuck, but this figure is quite old at this point and it has been sitting in its plastic tomb, but there you go, good range. No problem at all, good range. And it wasn't actually stuck, just a little bit stiff. Boot swivel, no boot swivel. It looks like there should be. There is, haha. -ha. All right, you get a boot swivel, so that is nice. Ankle range goes all the way back and a little bit forward, not a ton, but it's definitely enough, it's not bad. And then the ankle rocker is okay, it's pretty steep of an angle, but then you can rotate it and you have your perfect joint. So surprisingly, this guy's articulation is not bad. It is a little bit limited, but I wouldn't say this one is basically an articulated statue like most of their figures are in this line. Usually the sculpts get in the way, but this guy you should be able to pose fairly well. He's not gonna be Spider-Man, but then again, Spider-Man doesn't pose like Spider-Man mostly these days. So not bad for him. I will go eight out of 10 for his articulation considering the design. Now for this one, though I doubt many people care as much about posing her, we're gonna run it anyway. Neck is on a ball peg. 
it doesn't have much range. It's mostly rotation and then a little bit of leaning. Yeah, it doesn't have much range. That's unfortunate. All right, for the shoulders, full rotation, of course, going out to the side. Better than horizontal, no problem there. Bicep swivel is fine. Double jointed elbow, by the way. How many times have we been told by a certain company named Hasbro that double jointed elbows are just too hard at small scales for the women's? Because her elbow is tiny as heck. It's heckin' tiny. Look at that. Here it is compared to Darwin. Her elbow is like half the size. It's tiny and double joint. No problem at all. It's almost like when I said it, yeah, you know what? It is possible. They just don't do it. That was true. It's nuts, the things that they say and try to get away with. All right, wrists have a swivel and a hinge. Torso articulation on this figure, just a ball peg hidden by the belt. Very limited, mostly gonna be for rotation, though that's pretty stiff also. Not a whole lot going on in her torso. For her hips, don't like how far down the crotch goes below the hips, though the tail hides it. And that's, it's really because of the tail, I guess. No, it doesn't need to be there. Extra crotch, not necessary. Ball pegs almost all the way out to the side. So full on splits, that's good. Her joints are not as loose, but they're not super tight either. Bringing the leg forward, pretty decent range, minimal flex in the diapers. So that's pretty well engineered, that's good. Legs go back a little bit, but the tail gets in the way. Thigh swivel is fine. It's minimal, but it's there. Double jointed knee is pretty good. If you move the top joint first, you probably get more range. Let's try it. Yeah, decent range. It's not the best thing ever, but that's plenty good. Like there's definitely no problem there at all. Okay, and then for the ankle, all the way back. Not that far forward, but you get a good, uh-oh, it's stuck. There's an ankle rocker in there. Yeah, I would heat that up and try that. Mine are both stuck. And you know what, I'll just wiggle it and see if I can, see if I can get anything to function. No, it's not wanting to go. I'd have to heat it. So it, it, you can tell by the angle it's going to be a good one if you can get it free. So just be careful with that and you should be fine. And then the tail is on a ball peg. A little bit of extra range. So nothing elaborate here. It's acceptable. I'll give it a seven. But it's uh, it's just, it's, it's enough. It's not anything good. Special. Okay, so this two pack for 60 bucks. I do believe this one was 60 bucks. Uh, you get two completely originally sculpted figures loaded with paint and more accessories than you can shake an action figure at and they pose definitely well enough 60 bucks compared to 63 dollars for that pile of garbage it's just insane to me what you can get away with when you tie something to a uh, crowdfunded thing like galactus or when you just have hasbro fanboys who will buy bare plastic naked people with one new head sculpt that's not even any good this is an incredibly better value, like hands down, without a doubt. Do people care about these two characters as much as those two? Probably not, but nobody would care about those two as much if it wasn't for the crowdfunding, especially since one of them already got released. So you can decide for yourself what is a good value or not uh, based on the market that we see today, but I would argue that Hasbro's products are almost never a good value. This set, on the other hand, is pretty darn nice. I'm gonna give this one a nine out of 10. I couldn't care less about these two characters, but given that they are, like I said, brand new sculpts, lots of paint, the articulation definitely works well enough and loaded with accessories. If you're into this line, there's not much more you could ask for. This is as almost as good as it gets. The few tiny things I would change here and there but it's a darn good set. So there it is, guys. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. But otherwise, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please do give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, a thumbs down is okay too. And if you haven't subscribed, you probably should. I have new videos almost every single day and thousands already on the channel. So make sure you come back for all of that. And in the meantime, keep collecting.